Hi everyone, it's Nicole here for Pretty Pink Posh and today I'm showcasing the brand new pocket die, brand new for January, as well as the stitched duo 3 die that I've used for the tag. When used together, you can create some awesome tag pockets that you could either use individually, maybe you tie the tag to a gift or something, or you can place it on a card like I did here and have your little gift card stuck in the pocket and send it through the and then have a greeting on the inside maybe you know you want to say something to the recipient or whatever or additional stamping maybe it's a birthday card um, these kind of have that love valentine's feel but definitely if you changed up the greeting maybe or even put a different greeting on the inside these could be for anything so to make my pocket i am die cutting a couple of different pattern papers using the rounded tag die from the Stitched Duo 3. I'm only using this, not the windows, and I've die cut it from two different pattern papers. Then I'm taking the pocket die and just on the part of the tag that's going to be on the front or the pocket that'll be on the front, I'm going to use that and die cut the die so it creates a pocket. The great thing about this is you have that stitched detail then on all the sides. So because the pocket die has the stitching too and the stitched duo three it has that great finished look i guess it just looks really nice and professional is what i always think then i have die cut this coffee cup from one of the simon says stamp dies this is was one of them that was in a card kit back in 2014 and it is one of my all-time favorite dies probably has gotten more use <laughs> than anything. I just, I love it. It's perfect for so many different sentiments. So I'm kind of playing with some stamps now from Simon Says Stamp as well. These are from the Sending and Wishing stamp set. This is an awesome greeting stamp set. If you have seen any of my Pretty Pink Posh videos from the last few days, I have showcased all three brand new dies and I have used this stamp set on all three of them. What I decided to do was use a combination of the Simon Says Stamp dies and stamps for this particular image. I really liked the look of the die cut, die cut word layered over the coffee cup and then a small stamped greeting underneath. I love how they are made to work together. So I'll go ahead and stamp one of the greetings here using the My Favorite Things Black Licorice Hybrid Ink. I'm going to make sure I get that positioned right where I want it to go and add that little stamped detail there. So once I have that, I can start kind of putting things in place and adhering all of the pieces to my card. I'm going to use the Zig Glue Pen to add some little dots of glue because these die cuts are so intricate this really helps um, make the glue knots kind of squish out when I adhere it to my card. And what I did was I die cut both the coffee cup and the die cut word from the pattern paper and some dark gray cardstock. And I'm not really offsetting it any um, where I, I do that a lot where you can see kind of a little bit of a shadow. Instead, this is more to just give both the coffee cup and the die cut word a little bit more dimension. Um, it just gives them a little bit more of that substantial look and when you look at it from you know if the card is laying flat you can see a little bit of that gray shadow and I I think it looks kind of nice that way so again I'm adding little dots of glue all over this die cut word and then I will adhere it directly on top of the other die cut I've put in place. Now I put that acrylic block there just to hold my die cut down while the glue dries. You've probably seen me do that a lot. That is just, it's something heavy and it just holds things down, especially if you're using liquid adhesive and while it's drying, this dries pretty quickly, but at the same time I want to make sure nothing pops up and off. So there is what my tag is starting to look like. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply a thin line of glue around the two sides and the bottom only. You don't want to put any adhesive around the top. Now, I did this for the first one, and then I actually made two cards from this. 
when I made my coffee cup, I cut it from two different pattern papers, so I ended up with two separate co coffee cups, and I thought it would be fun to make two cards while I had all my supplies out. For my second tag, I actually used some thin strip adhesive that's really strong. It's really, really thin, like an eighth of an inch, and I placed it around those three sides instead, and I think I like it better, even though the liquid adhesive worked fine. Now, I drew a little X there at the top of my tag, you don't have to do this if you're not making this a tag, but I wanted to tie some string through that, and so I wanted to make sure that when I took my crocodile, I didn't miss the center of my tag. I have been known to do that from time to time, so I generally like to make a little mark where I want to punch my hole, and then I will punch the hole in the top of my tag. Now on the back of the tag, I am adding some strips of foam adhesive. This is just to give a little bit of dimension to the tag and help it pop away from the background. I have die cut the background actually with the large, or rather, pardon me, the small stitched rectangle dies from Lawn Fawn. I'm using the largest size there. And I wanted a little bit of a white border around my card, but I like the stitching detail. I think it kind of ties in nicely with the pretty pink posh. Uh, stitched dies, so I did that there. Very, very simple, nothing very intricate. You know, no great plans for, or great uh, technique for the background other than using all these fun Valentine's pattern papers. Now, once I have my tag in place, I am going to take some glossy accents and trace over that die cut word to give it even more dimension and some really fun shine. You want to kind of go slow when you're doing this. It is so intricate, you don't want the glossy accents to get anywhere but on your word. And so I just traced that really gently, and then I also added glossy accents to the heart on the coffee mug. A last couple things I did to finish this card, I did add some pretty pink posh sequins. I used the blush and then the marshmallow, and even a darker pink that I can't think of the name right off the top of my head, but it is linked below in the supplies. And I also took the red Pretty Pink Posh Twine and tied it through the top of my tag to finish it off. Then you can stick a gift card right in that little pocket, in and out, very, very easy. Super fun. I hope you've enjoyed this video showcasing the brand new Pretty Pink Posh Pocket Die and Stitch Duo 3 Die. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.